hey, hello and welcome to this really fun tutorial by Flowmotion. Because today I'm going to show you the best and creative masking tricks. So just follow me into After Effects. Today's episode is fully packed with information because I'm going to go with you through all those shots and show you how I did them. But not only the technical side of it, but also the creative side, aka. And as this is not enough, at the end of this video I will finally reveal the three winners of La Forge from my water tutorial. So if you haven't watched this, check it out. So, I was on vacation recently and the best thing for me to get into relaxing mode is to, well, get creative. So, as soon as I have seen my apartment with the pool, I knew I had to do something. All of those clips are done with the same method, with masking. So, masking is simply the process of cutting out one part of an image. And if you shoot from a tripod, you can now have the same image and can position yourself as often as you want in one image. And if you want to know more about masking or everything about masking, I made a short video about all you need to know. So in today's video, for each example, there will be always the masking part and a think outside the box part. So what you see here is me jumping and my reflection in the water. And when you shoot super flat onto the water and keep the horizon in the middle, the reflection is almost the same as the real shot. Hey, and this is what I did. I masked out the real shot and used it as reflection, then tinted it. For the black, so the darkest color, I took the darkest color of the reflection. And white, I used the brightest color. And it directly looks as a water reflection. Now all you need to do is to keyframe the tint, so when we start the bottom part is the reflection, and at the end it's switched. So once I had that upside down shot, I directly thought about another method of doing the upside down. So for that shot, I again filmed two different versions. But instead of filming the reflection, I filmed the opposite. So one shot where I'm jumping up and the other one where I'm jumping down, trying to have the same position in midair. Well, with a 180 degree twist. Great, now I'm jumping up and into the water. I simply used the last frame of my jump, freeze framed it and set a keyframe for the position and rotation. Next I moved it to the position of the second clip and to make this even smoother I used the puppet pin tool. So this allows you to set some pins on the character and move them around in a very organic way. And you guessed it, together with position and rotation I also keyframed this to match the end position. And voila, jump is done. Up to the next shot and back to a super easy method. All you need to do is film yourself walking in front of a mountain or house or whatever you have in the background. And make sure to also film a clean plate without yourself in it. Then it mask out the background element and just place it on top and you are almost done. So one tip here, the further you are away from the camera, the less contrast you have. And you can achieve that by simply bringing down the black values in a levels effect. Now it looks like you're really in the distance. Hey, and if you want to get even more inspired, I once did a whole music video with this technique for the voice of Switzerland. And I will add a link to this in the video description. 
And while you are down there, why not leave a like or comment and let me know which effect was your favorite in this video. Opposites attract, so I also wanted to do a small version of me, which will be next. So where else can I find some opposites? Well, day and night, up and down, which we already did, backwards, forwards. So I always try to combine both of those. Again, for the small version of me, it is exactly the same workflow as for the giant, but with some more preparation, as the foreground element is not simply a static mountain, but also a moving footage clip. But again, just a few masks to sell the trick. Hey, and a bonus here, to mask out the water splash, I simply use the extract effect. And with this, I can pretty easy, well, extract all Luma values that I don't need, which will leave me with only the brightest parts. Done. And hey, I also created an in-depth tutorial about exactly this fun effect. So if you want to learn more about this, hey, and for the next example, I used exactly that splash extract trick to hide the mask. So maybe you haven't even noticed, but as this is a fairly impossible move to jump out of the water like that, I again used opposites for this. This time the right side is filmed forward and the left side I had to time reverse in order to get the jump. And this is a well-known trick in the film industry. So once you understood that principle, you will see it in a lot of movies where it is way easier to start in the end position. Up to the next opposites, which is the easiest of all, but took the most amount of time, but simply as I had to wait until it got dark. And be super careful to not touch the camera, as I would then need to wait another day. So again, just film one part at daytime and one at night. To get the transition right, I keyframed a null object with my hand. And by the way, a null object is simply an object that only holds animation keyframes or property data without actually holding anything visual. So that allows to later on link various elements to the same animation. In this case, I created a large solid, parented it and used that solid as a track mat for the night shot. So this time I'm masking out a shot without even using a mask. Let's stick with that and I'm going to show you the next two shots masking without using a mask. So in here you see me walking around the pool 20 times, all created out of the same footage. But how can we do that in an easy way without a mask? Well, we simply give After Effects that shot and a clean plate and tell it to only show the pixels that are different between those two shots. And if my math is right, that should be only me. So let's bring in a clean plate and the shot where I'm walking and use the difference matte effect on that layer. For the difference layer, we choose our clean plate. And now you can have a look at the matte only to see what you're actually masking out. And you can find tweak it here. Now all you have to do is duplicate that one layer and offset it in time. Done. Hey. And my think outside the box trick here, next time you are on a green screen, try to also shoot only the green screen and use that as your difference layer. Now you can key without using a key effect. And that leads us to the most advanced shot of all, the intro shot. Again, I was looking for a cool approach and I thought about having one part played in real time and one sped up. And then I thought, what about having a little interaction, meaning one person is walking in front of the other. As I said again, we will mask it without using a mask. Almost. Because for the parts without interaction, a simple mask will do the trick. But first things first, let's retime this so the interaction matches. To keep it simple, I cut the clip when it should start going extra fast and when I would be in normal speed again. But hey, you could also speed drag this if you wish. And now for the tricky masking part, I use the Roto brush tool. And this is a super powerful tool. You simply have to paint over the parts that you want to mask out. And you can even use the refine brush to paint over details like my hair. Once defined, you simply hit the freeze button and After Effects will calculate your mask that you can now even fine tune with the effect settings. Let's quickly announce the winners of La Forge, the plugin I used to create the water in those shots. Hey, and if you see your name 
on the big screen right now, this means that I think you will really benefit from this plugin. So please don't disappoint me quite a lot today. So again, feel free to write to me in the comments which was your favorite effect and any other cool pool masking ideas. Was there a specific trick that is useful to you? So just let me know. And don't forget to like and share so YouTube will also start sharing this and more After Effects users will learn more tips and tricks. Win, win. And for now, I wish you a lot of fun being creative in After Effects. <laughs>